we'll see it, Father. We want as big an audience tonight as we can get. I'll get Keaton to tack it up. Keaton! Keaton! Where is that knucklehead? You better come out of here before Father sees you. Buchanan, is it a habit of yours to greet your principal creditor by ruining his hat? You know, of course, you'll pay for this. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. And talking about paying, I'm here to collect for that uh, sporting goods you ordered for me three months ago. Uh, thank you, young man. Four months ago. Mr. Duncan, if you just give me a little more time. Just one more day, Mr. Duncan. If the play's a hit tonight, why... What's this about a play? Oh, yes, I heard about that, Buchanan. Instead of spending your time on business, you've been spending all your money on a corny little theater just so your daughter could be an actress. Oh, but the play's bound to be a success. You see, our leading man is Donald Ronald. Who? Donald Ronald. The great profile. The great actor. Oh, and the great lover. Oh, the play's bound to bring in a lot of money with Donald Ronald in it. And then Father can pay you back everything he owes you. I'm sorry, young lady. If I don't get my money today, I'll clean out this store. Oh, I'll wipe this business off the map. You, Cannon, I wouldn't be so hard on you if you'd only play ball with me. I'd be glad to play ball with you. Oh, Does it, young lady? I'm closing this business as of 15 minutes from now. Poor Daddy. And what about my career? I'll save your career, Miss Buchanan. Betty, I'll get the money. Watch me sell this customer. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, uh, I'm interested in looking at an archery set. You know, uh, bows and arrows. Oh, right this way. Yes. Uh... Are you sure you want an archery set with your eyes? Well, what's that got to do with it? I have perfect vision. You sure? Certainly, madam. Your salesman may be the salvation of this business. If he sells an archery set to that customer, I may reconsider and extend your loan until tomorrow. Let's go in my office. Well, here, here's a nice bow. Oh, very exciting. Here. And here's an arrow, so you can get the feel of it. Ah, this is it. Uh, uh, just a second. Uh, I, I, th I think you better practice pulling the string with, without, without the arrow. I'll bet I can hit a fly at 100 paces. Yeah. Well, just turn me around toward the target. Face me toward the target. I'll show you. Well, here. All right. Yeah, that now holds, that's it, right there. Thank you. 
Here, just a minute. Oh. Say, I can really see out of these glasses now. Good. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Two. How'd you know? <laughs> Simple, your twin brother's standing right alongside of you holding up two fingers, he gave me the hint. <laughs> you know, I think I'm getting under this bow and arrow stuff. Well, that's fine. Now, 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 now come here and I'll, here. Well, I'll let you try one arrow. Fine. Gosh, this is fun. the Indian who shot that arrow. Well, don't always talk about an Indian. Oh, Donald Ronald. Why, you're just in time to take me to the theater. For your information, my dear, I shall not perform tonight. Oh, but Donald, why? I've seen actors receive bouquets of flowers and still others vegetable surprises. But this, this is the end. Oh. Oh. If Donald doesn't show up, the play can't go on. And if the play can't go on, I'm bankrupt. And if you're bankrupt, I don't get paid. Oh, I'd like to lay my hands on the idiot that shot that arrow. Caton, you're to blame for losing our leading man. Where are we going to find another one? What kind of a part was this leading man to do? Well, he's supposed to be a poor but honest jerk. Well, he looks poor. I know he's honest. Then he's our leading man. What are we waiting for? To be or not to oh, no. be. Sparking tonight? Oh, not tonight. It's pretty cold. Going home and sit by the fire. Good idea. I'll do the same. Good night. Little did I think when I wrote the Beatrice Beeswax that she would ever answer poor little me. I just asked for advice to the loved one. I wonder what she said. I'll open it and find out. Never a woman, Miss Beeswax. A brilliant woman. Letter for a long time. To win the hand of a fair, a fair maiden, you must do two things. First, you must take her flowers, candy, or perfume. And second, always remember to...
Remember to... Do the little things that pleases the lady's heart. Follow these simple instructions and I'm sure you will win your... I'm sure you will win your lady fair. With these instructions, she can't refuse me. Emily Jones speaking. Oh, it's you, Tom. Yes, Tom. You'd like to come and call on me? It is Tom. He would like to come and call on me. Yes, Tom. You may come and call on me. Fine, Tom. That was Tom. The poor but honest son of a farmer who seeks my favors. Tonight, my three gallant suitors come to toss their hearts at my dainty feet. <laughs> Which one shall it be? Shall it be Tom, Dick, or Harold? Give me the power to make a decision. Pray enter. Pray enter. Enter. It's all ready to pull. Oh, you're so thoughtful, Harold. You always think of the little things. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I have a surprise. Now keep them closed. Don't peek. Harold, I've never seen a diamond like it. 
But I don't need diamonds, Harold. Why, when I get married, all I want are the simple things. Well, marry me, you'll get one. <laughs> Give me a little time to think it over, Harold. <laughs> Put your hands out. Here. Come on, that's it. Come in. Good evening, Emily. I have brought you some popcorn. Oh, how nice. Pardon me. You look more beautiful than ever tonight, Emily. It's lovely of you to say that, Tom. Uh, say, have you ever been fishing down in Little Rock? Oh, I go fishing the lake all the time. Did you ever catch any big ones down there? Oh, yes. How big? Oh, so big. Whoa. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> this place is certainly cluttered up this evening. Look at this lovely cake I brought for you, Emily. It's a shame to waste it on crumbs like this. Oh, just put it on the stand and join us. <laughs> Say, have you ever fished up a little rock? Oh, many times, many times. Did you ever catch any large fish up there? Oh, uh, about that long. Uh, no larger than that? No larger. Do you mind if I go and pull the taffy now? Oh, that would be nice.
Oh, Sam, let's not get greedy. We got 50 grand already in this satchel. What do we need more dough for? To pay income tax, stupid. Cheese. Why did anybody want to lock a cheese sandwich in the safe? Mice? Rehearsal. I don't mean the play. I mean you catching these crooks. They just stuck up the First National Bank. Why, there's fifty thousand dollars in that bag. Look for yourself. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Look. Young man, you'll be glad to know that there's a $5,000 reward for the return of the bank's money. $5,000? Gee, thanks. And it's all for you. For the store. Oh. Sorry, folks, but I'll have to take that money back. It's got to be counted first. 